So, you've decided to take anatomy and physiology. Or maybe it was decided for you. After all, anatomy and physiology, also known as A&P, is a commonly required course for anyone hoping to work in the health professions. You've probably heard a lot of people talk about how difficult AMP is, and you might be nervous about taking it on. But AMP is not impossible. You can conquer this class if you know how to approach the content. AMP covers tons of material, so it's easy to get lost in the details. You need to check in on yourself to see how you're doing. One great strategy is to stop after each lecture and ask yourself, where am I? Reread the notes while the lecture is still fresh in your mind. Do you understand the new information and how it fits with what you already know? A lot of times your answer is, um, I think so, but I'm not sure. You can check to see if you really understand the material by asking yourself two questions. Where are we zoomed? And what are the parts, functions, and connections? This is Anatomy and Physiology Made Easy. Zoom focuses in on the different levels of anatomy. Parts, functions, and connection reminds us to look at the structure of each level and how it works. Right now, these questions don't mean anything to you. But trust me, by the end of this video, they will be your new best friends, at least in this class. We have all looked at pictures or text on a computer screen. If we want to get a closer look at a part of the picture, we click Zoom. This allows us to focus in on a specific detail. Clicking Zoom again focuses us in even farther. Depending on the quality of the computer, we can keep zooming in and looking at the image in more and more detail. Anatomy and physiology works the same way. At the big picture level, we are studying organisms, in this case, the human. But it would be overwhelming to try to learn everything about the human body at once, so we zoom in on one area of the body at a time. In our AMP class, we divide the learning into more manageable chunks at the level of organ systems. There are 11 organ systems we can zoom in on. If we focus on one system at a time, learning the content is not as overwhelming. Let's imagine we are studying a human named Joe. To get to know Joe better, we could zoom in on Joe's digestive system, or his respiratory system, or his nervous system. Once we have chosen a system, we can zoom in further. Zoom in on any organ system, and you will find it is built of a bunch of different organs. Joe's digestive system includes the stomach, esophagus, and the small intestine, among other things. We can zoom in on any one of Joe's organs, such as his stomach, to learn more about it. Zoom in further on an organ, and you can look at the tissues that it is made of. Organs are made of two or more different tissue types. One of the tissues found in Joe's stomach is smooth muscle tissue. At this point, we'll have to pull out a microscope to zoom in any closer. We can zoom in on the individual cells that make up a tissue. In the muscular tissue of Joe's stomach, we can study a single smooth muscle cell. We can even zoom in on the cell and look at the individual molecules inside. At this level, we are studying the chemistry of the cell and molecules such as actin and tropomyosin that help the cell do its job. And we can zoom in even further and look at individual atoms such as calcium that participate in chemical reactions within the cell. When you study AMP, you can look at the human body at any one of these levels. So when you're reviewing your notes, it's important to ask yourself, where am I? At what level of anatomy am I zoomed into? Was today's lecture an overview of an entire system, or did it focus on the chemical reactions in a single cell? Once you know where you are, it's time to ask yourself the second critical question. What are the parts, functions, and connections? The A in A&P stands for anatomy. Anatomy is the study of structure. What makes up the structure of an organism? In other words, what are the parts? 
you will study a lot of parts in your anatomy class, especially in lab. You can locate the parts on a model or diagram, describe the parts, label the parts, and you can definitely memorize the parts. Anatomy is all about learning the parts. So for any level of Zoom, whether you're studying a system, an organ, or even a cell, you need to ask yourself, do I know the parts? The other half of A and P is, of course, P, which stands for physiology. Physiology is the study of the function of the parts. What do the parts do? How do they work? In A and P, you will hear the phrase, structure dictates function. This means that the structure, the design or shape of the part, will determine what the part can do and how it will do it. For example, your heart has valves, and the shape and position of these valves determines which direction your blood will flow. Actin and myosin fibers in your individual muscle cells connect and contract, which causes your body to move. When you are studying A and P, you can check your understanding of the physiology by asking yourself, do I know how each part functions? And finally, to really master A and P, you have to understand the connections between the parts. None of your body parts work all alone. If you accidentally hit your hand with a hammer, receptors in your skin send a message to your brain, which sends a message back to your muscles, telling them to contract and move your hand away. Your integumentary, nervous, and muscular systems work together to make this happen in a split second. The systems are connected. So after you study the parts of a structure and you've learned how the parts function, be sure to ask yourself, how do they all connect? Parts, functions, and connections. If you can explain these as you zoom through the human body, you are well on your way to success with a &P. As you review your notes from class or study the next chapter in the a &P textbook, check your understanding by asking yourself these two key questions. First, what level are you zoomed into? And second, what are the parts, functions, and connections? This is Anatomy and Physiology Made Easy.